Hey guys, you're joining me today on the Harley Davidson Nightster 975 23 model. Um, I'm doing a voiceover on this because my, uh, as usual, problems with uh, microphones, uh, let's just say ride microphones, don't even bother. They're absolutely bloody totally unreliable. Uh, anyway, just uh, moving on to the uh, Nightster, thought I'd do a little voiceover and uh, my uh, uh, overall thoughts on this uh, lovely little bike. Um, so first we're in town and uh, it's such a well-balanced bike. It's not, uh, although it's, uh, it's a little bit porky, it uh, doesn't feel it on the move and uh, even when paddling about, it's a, it's a really manageable bike. And uh, the seat height is really low as well. And that TFT is all clear. You can, you've got all the info that you need um, at, uh, at a glance. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely little town machine. Uh, moving out of town, and this is where it really surprised me. Um, it handles so nicely. It uh, really uh, belies um, the kind of uh, cruiser style bike that it is. Um, yeah, uh, as you can see, there's a bit, lot of uh, rubbish on the road here, a lot of crap, so I <laughs> had to be very careful. Um, but yeah, around bends, it uh, is really precise and uh, yeah, it takes corners really well. And the only limiting factor, of course, is going to be the. Um, uh, ground clearance, so yeah, you, you'll soon start uh, touching those pegs down. Um, but yeah, uh, you get a good feel from for what uh, uh, all the bikes doing. Um, tires were pretty good as well; didn't have any issues with them. I think they were Harley Davidson branded, and uh, yeah, um, all would like the feedback through the chassis. You know, you, you're getting a, you know, it never felt like it was getting out of shape. I mean, this bike's got. Uh, the usual traction control and ABS as well, so you, you got that to fall back on if needs be. But uh, no, I never triggered uh, any of it, and uh, never needed to uh, to worry about uh, any loss of traction. Um, yeah, as you can see, really sweeping bends. She's coping really well. She's a, uh, you know, such a sweet handling bike. I was really impressed with this one. Uh, far more than I was expecting. Um, I mean, compared to the. Um, bigger 1200 sportster which uh, that's more of a brute like, kind of bike I, mean, I still would enjoy that bike like the handling but uh handling wise but uh yeah this uh this uh, little nipper runs rings around around the uh, bigger model so this particular bike was costs uh 14195 in uh, vivid black and uh, red line red and uh yeah, it's got mid mount controls uh, obviously you've got your traction control ABS, it's got a superb liquid cooled Revolution Max 975 engine. It's an absolute peach of an engine, I absolutely love it. Obviously it doesn't quite sound as good as uh, Harley's of old, but uh, with a decent set of pipes this would be yeah, sound pretty nice. Um, in terms of the uh, the powertrain is actually a stressed member, so that actually reduces his weight. And coming to the weight, that's uh, 221 kilograms wet, which isn't too bad for a uh, for Harley really isn't it? Got an 11.7 litre fuel tank and uh, seem to be pretty frugal on uh, my little ride. Um, the seat height is actually 705 millimetres so perfect for shorties. Um, coming back to that uh, engine it's got 89 horsepower and uh, 95 newton metres of torque so yeah decent enough and uh, you know pe peppy little performer definitely. Um, actually uh, feels faster than uh, the figures which should suggest um it's got led lamps all round um you got uh, loads of uh, like gadgets on here like uh, uh tire pressure control and uh you know you got your bluetooth connectivity and uh, all these switch gear feels really nice to use as well um it is a little bit on a complicated side but uh, not uh, too not too much you still get used to it it's got cruise control as well which is an absolute bonus um, forks are by shower, so we shower, however you say it. So, yeah, so uh, yeah, pretty well spec bike. This is so, um, although it's um, a fairly light bike, I mean, it is a bit of a heft to pick it up the side stand. Um, side stand is a bit forward, and but uh, it's uh, it's got a big lug on it, so it's fairly simple to uh, lift up. Um, so there you go, it's uh, not uh. Not the worst side stand in the world to uh, flick up. So being a Harley, you obviously got the uh, usual uh, keyless ignition and that start-up 
per sequence is pretty cool on the TFT. There's also a lot of functions on the uh, TFT, such as uh, also your Bluetooth, so you can control your music. Uh, you can see a lot of uh, info on the bike. Uh, you got uh, terminal turn navigation, I believe, as well. But uh, obviously, I'm not connecting my phone, so I've not tried it. But, yeah, you've got uh, a lot of uh, a lot of info. You can just uh, cycle through. I'm um, using the buttons, which is a uh, pretty cool. Okay, let's have a little walk around this uh, little puppy. So this is actually the uh, Knights uh, Special, and it starts uh, currently starts at uh, fifteen three nine five. Uh, colours you can get it in are uh, vivid black, black denim, uh, bright bearded blue, and uh, industrial yellow. I think this uh, this is the vivid black. In it. I think it's a uh, splendid country. I love it. Uh, yeah, so it starts at fifteen three nine five. Which uh, is probably this bike's uh, you know, weakest point, really. Uh, when you consider that the uh, 1200S isn't uh, much more expensive. However, most people will buy these on uh, on uh, per PCP and things like that, so that will help soften the blow. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of tech on here, so it's uh, you can see the where, where the money's gone. Um, I prefer this to the standard. Nice to our road last year, actually, definitely. And in terms of spec, you've got um, you've got those mid mount controls, you've got traction control, ABS, and that liquid cooled Revolution Max 975 is just a beauty. Um, the seat height is at 705 millimeters, so it's really low. This is a really great bike for short people. Um, the Tank is 11.7 litres. Um, I presume it's going to be pretty frugal, to be honest. It's uh, not. A, it's not a performance machine, so I reckon you'll probably get uh, high 40s, low 50s out of this easy. Uh, the wet weight we mentioned earlier is 221 kilos, and it uh, actually feels light in that, to be honest. It feels really nice. Then you've got those uh, all LED headlamps. Let's see if we can show them now. Headlamp looks really, really cool actually. And uh, the rear, yeah, the rear is an LED as well. That front light is really cool. Now, apart from that, this is a pretty much a back to basics machine, really. There's not uh, an awful lot to, to go about. You've got the uh, shower forks, shower forks, how you say it. And there's a uh, not sure who makes the rear, rear shocks, but a branded Harley and they seem to be doing a really good job. Um, Tours are Harley Davidson branded, so I'm not sure if it might be mixed with No, it's Dunlop, these are, yeah, Dunlop. And uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a nice looking machine in this black. Uh, the only thing that lets it down is um, this radiator. Mm. Now, if they could have packaged that a bit better and made it fit into the frame, that would really set this bike off. Look at what Triumph have done on their uh, Bonneville range. Yeah, that's with the looks, that's one thing that lets it down. But then again, the engine is a stressed member, so there's no real frame to speak of. So that that uh, could be why it, it looks that way. But uh, yeah, that's one thing with the looks that lets it down, and also that is. That is also horrific, it needs changing de desperately. <laughs> but yeah, change that exhaust, maybe hide up that, that radiator. I mean, and this will be a superb looking bike. I think it, I think it's got classic sports looks when you start to look at the details. It's uh, definitely reminiscent of, reminiscent of uh, sports of, of old. Those wheels are really nice, they're really funky. Fork style, I've done there, yeah, really nice. Um, so, that's uh, to what? Yeah, the brakes are Brembo, Brembo calipers. And the rear is in the uh, yeah, the front of the way the Brembo. I uh, do apologise, this bike is filthy, though. that's the only problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. 
that's about all there is to talk about. Um, all in all, it's a good looking machine. I, I think it is. Just a couple of things let it down, but yeah. I'd still be proud to own one. And it's still a bike I would uh, look back at when I walked away from it. Let's ride some more. So there you go, I think again, that's pretty much going to conclude uh, this um, uh, little test ride on the uh, Harley Nightster. Thanks to uh, Matt at uh, Sycamore uh, Harley in uh, Uppingham for letting me take the bike out. Uh, sorry the uh, video has been a bit crap ready because of uh, obviously my problems with sound. Um, but there you go, unfortunately. As always, you don't really see the see or hear the finished product until after you've recorded it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, f suffice to say that uh, this is a bike I really enjoyed. It's a superb, uh, well, not quite entry into the uh, Harley uh, ownership. Um, that's probably the only thing that lets this bike down, the price really. I mean, uh, yeah, you're just knocking on to soft tail territory aren't you um but uh yeah that's a different debate so yeah it depends what you're uh what you want in your bike um i really like this bike i think it's a uh, very modern harley um some people might uh, find that a bit uh, alienating but uh, yeah i think it's a uh, yeah a, a really nice take on the uh on the sportster it so one uh final little blast and uh, then we'll, I'll show you how to uh, fill them up because it, it's a uh, little bit different um, the uh, fuel tank is under the seat which contributes to making this feel like a, uh, a much lighter bike than it actually is and uh, there you go so you just uh, insert your key under the seat and it flips up and uh, there you go um, let's see if, I mean, they're not petrol or petrol cap just uh, unscrew straight off like that, no dramas, and your nozzle fits uh, all the way in, which is always a bonus. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. Thanks for watching this with me. Uh, please do consider liking and subscribing, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel. And uh, speak to you on the next one. Cheers, guys.